What is up YouTube Sour Pack James back at again. Hope everyone is doing well today. We got a good one as we're taking a look at Upper Deck 2021 All Elite Wrestling Trading Cards. Should be a fun time. Before we get to all that, if it's your first time checking out the channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. It'd be greatly appreciated. And all those been watching, thank you once again for your support. And so today, it is finally here. Was able to snatch this up from my local LCS. Yes, all the way from Upper Deck. It's 2021 AEW All Elite Wrestling Trading Cards. Officially released uh, th this past Thursday on the 6th. Was able to pick this up from my local LCS. Very excited for this one. If you want to jump straight to the card rip, I'll leave a timestamp down below in the description. And if you want um, kind of my overall thoughts on the product, I'll leave a timestamp down below as well. But before we get to all that, let's do a quick rundown of this product. So this is the official release date of AEW, um, their first official product. Uh, not necessarily their official cards. Um, they have AEW cards before. Um, there's the 2018 All-In Trading Card Set. Very, very popular. Uh, they Upper Deck released, uh, I think this past fall, some uh, promo cards you were able to get. So these were the first three promo cards there. Uh, very, very cool. Kind of getting a sneak preview. And if you were at this past New York Comic Con, you were able to snatch up the, this really cool... Um, card sheet here haven't decided what to do whether to break it up apart or leave it as is but very cool so those are you know uh this is technically not the first aew card you can get but the first official product release um picked this up for 175 bucks uh which seems like a lot when you're comparing to the tops product but uh if you're able to pre-order this i think very early on at steel city's collectibles you could have got it for a hundred dollars Ever since then, pre-orders have been steadily climbing, and I think right now they're kind of averaged between 200 and 250 is where I've seen the online prices are at. So a very, very expensive product. Um, we'll see if the prices drop, uh, you know, a month or two down the line on these. I don't know. I, I guess they probably will stabilize around 200, give or take. So um, look out for that. Uh, so this is the hobby box. There will be retail options. So that might be the best way to go. Uh, there'll be blasters. There'll be fat packs. So look out for that. Uh, maybe in a couple weeks at your local Walmarts and Targets. Also, uh, since it is upper deck, they have these e-packs where you can buy an uh, e-pack and they'll have digital and physical cards. It's pretty cool. You get the, I guess, um, both cards and then the physical cards, you can actually get them shipped to you if you want or have them hold it. So Three different ways to collect this set, um, so pretty cool. And uh, in terms of the actual product themselves, the checklist, I'll leave a uh, link down below if you want to look at that. A uh, hundred card in the uh, base set, uh, they are split up into four subsets. You got wrestlers, tag teams, crew, AEW magazines, all the usual parallels, uh, all the way from one to one. They have these uh, upper deck really cool pyro editions. Hopefully we'll, should be able to get a handful of the pyro stuff in here. Uh, been really enjoying that parallel. Um, lots of inserts. You have uh, Upper Deck Canvas, short print versions, main of features, Road to Success, the Road of Cody Rhodes tribute set, uh, Top Rope, High Flyers, and the Wednesday in Action uh, Thick Card set. Uh, so loads of inserts. None of that uh, storyline stuff that I really hate from Tops. Uh, in terms of the autos, a pretty sizable checklist. I think they pretty much got everyone that's in here. Minus like kind of the recent signings like a CM Punk or Brian Danielson, but you know Britt Baker or Kenny Omega Sting and I'll leave a, a checklist uh, link down below if you want to look at who's on the autograph list This seems like gonna be a hard product to chase autographs for the hobby box It's basically one out of four box guarantees it gets you an autograph So even though I got this one, I only have a 25% chance of getting an autograph So it is not a box autograph guarantee and I paid $175 for it. So um, if you're kind of autograph chasing, I would just suggest buying it straight off of eBay instead of trying to chase it from hobby. Uh, you know, maybe trying to chase it on retail is a little bit better, but it seems like autographs are meant to be hard to chase. Uh, so that's one of the new things with this. Uh, this is upper deck, this is not top. So they're doing things very, very differently. Uh, you also have mem cards. Um, the usual, nothing um, that really stands out. You have base wrestlers, tag team, um, mem cards, and crew base uh, mem cards is there. I think that pretty much covers it. And so 
let's get at it. Uh, very excited to check this out. Listen at the odds there, but some of these cards are going to be hard to get if you're really trying to get it all. Like some of the Wednesdays in action inserts, some of the mem cards, even some of the autographs themselves. When you kind of look at the um, odds they give you, they are really, really hard to get. So uh, definitely something um, different from uh, the Tops product. So looks like we're going to get 16 cards uh, per box, 8 cards per pack. So a decent amount. And hopefully I pick the right box. And there we go. I uh, was able to see some of these. They were opening up a box in my local LCS. So uh, initial impression is actually pretty good. I wasn't really so sure when I saw them uh, online. I was kind of like, eh, this seems okay. Um, but uh, seeing them in person uh, made me feel a whole lot better. So here we go. Start out with the right stack here. Actually rip these open. Uh, first time opening up an upper deck release since, I don't know, the 19... Early mid 90s when I was opening up basketball cards, and here's our base card, and this is of Mr. Ray Phoenix. So you can see here, um, so far I've seen is like I kind of enjoy the photo choices. Uh, maybe the actual design themselves aren't for everyone. They seem kind of, you know, playing it safe, I guess. There's Tully Blanchard, and then we got our first uh, Wednesday in action card. So a thicker stock card. See there, kind of interesting there. It is of Dax Hardwood, so there you go. And I'm not sure if this is a numbered card. Doesn't look like it, but there you go. That is our first Wednesday in action card. And here's our first insert. Oh, with the great Brody Lee main features there. So that was a pretty cool looking insert. Check that out there. Let's put that aside. And then we got the Dustin Rhodes here. So there you go. Looks like we got vertical and horizontal cards. Uh, I believe all the autos are sticker autos. I don't think there's any um, uh, on-card autos. So these are the AEW magazine cards of Ray Phoenix. Get well, Ray Phoenix. Uh, had a really scary arm injury in his last uh, championship match where he lost to uh, Jurassic Express. Dax Hardwood, and here's the tag team card. The Young Bucks. Always entertaining the young bucks. We put the tag teams over there. It's a Ray Phoenix. And this is Riho and maybe a firework parallel. So check that out. Or pyro parallel. See how it kind of glitters and shines depending on the lighting. So very, very cool. Riho uh, challenging Britt Baker pretty soon for the women's title there. And here's the first of our roads to success. Not too shabby. Pretty cool. There you go. So let's put that. Let's put that over here. Here's another Ace AW Sting of the magazine back cover and Sean Smith. Let's see here, uh, a lot of talk about this product. A lot of different reactions. Very, very interesting to watch everyone's take on this. Um, I'm, I'm going to let you know I'm a big AEW fan. I basically watch uh, both shows. Sometimes I will catch the um, uh, YouTube shows. And here's our first UD uh, Upper Deck Canvas card. So a different material. Pretty nice. About the same size stock, but it's just a different material there compared to kind of the more smooth cards of the uh, base there. And then Frankie Kazarian main features. Uh, tag teams with the best friends. Chris Statlander and Cody Rhodes base. Kind of curious if this is a gold parallel, but I don't see any numbering there. Um, could be. There we go. But as I was saying, yeah, I'm a big AEW fan. I uh, I just kind of uh, really like how they book and you know present wrestling. It's just a refreshing change from WWE. I love WWE. Um, but uh, yeah, in terms of the amount of wrestling I watch, I definitely watch more AEW than WWE. I basically just watch uh, SmackDown. I kind of fast forward through everything else on WWE. Dax Hadwork, Chris Statlander, or Firework, or Pyro. I keep calling it Firework. Look at that. Check that out. Very nice. Put that over there. Could be like a gold one. 
and then main features Ray Phoenix. Here we go. Cody Rhodes to success here. Outside, more magazines of Kenny Omega, John Moxley. Can't wait till John Moxley comes back. Um, so overall, at least these initial impressions, pretty, pretty positive. I think that they look a lot better in hand. Let's see here, Brandy Rose, Tony Schiavone, Santana. And then we got a tag teams, the Young Bucks. Looks like a parallel there. Santana made features. Ortiz, Matt Jackson, and Justin Roberts. Here we go here. We got the Native Beast, Nyla Rose. Magazine, MJF, Base, Powerhouse Hobbs. And then we got, ooh, very nice, Hakuru Shida, Pyro, uh, AEW Magazine insert. Definitely take that, big fan of hers. Put that over there. Main event, Sting, very cool. Anna J, Ricky Kazarian, and tag teams of Jurassic Express. Just recently won the tag team titles. Great match. Just as I was mentioned earlier, a really uh, scary incident with uh, Ray Phoenix and his arm and this table spot. Man, that was uh, pretty brutal. But apparently he didn't break anything, which was crazy. Uh, SCU here. Nyla Rose. Wardlow. Got a Sheeta. Got a Brian Cage canvas. Where's our canvas at? Here we go. Let me put that over there. And here's our first look at the top rope insert. Mark Quinn. Is this number? Just making sure. There we go. We got Ricky Starks and Rio. All right. Just about halfway here. Got Matt Jackson or yeah Nick Jackson magazine the Bunny base. We got um, Brian Cage the magazine there main event features Matt Jackson, Ortiz, Sheeta for the magazine Mark Quinn, and then Jungle Boy. Off to the next stack here. Got Mr. Selves, Orange Cassidy, big fan of Orange Magazine, Nyla Rose Magazine. We've got a Frankie Kazarian Pyro insert. Let's put that over here. Dr. Britt Baker, main event, Kenny Omega, Cody Rhodes, uh, Sammy Guevara. Just recently lost his uh, TNT title to Cody. Okay, Tay Conti. Okay. Then tag teams of the Dark Order. Sir, the Butcher. Gotta get the blade. MJF. Here. Jake Roberts. Look at that smile. Very, very cool. Brian Cage, main event features. Tag team FTR. Love me some FTR. Love their music. Isaiah Cassidy. Next up, here we go. So we got Matt Hardy, Matt Hardy Magazine, the tag team of SEU. Here we go, a canvas of Miro. Definitely like uh, Miro in uh, AEW versus uh, in WWE. MJF main features, John Moxley base, Chris Jericho, AEW the Magazine. Joey Janela. Let's see, you've got Alex Reynolds. We've got Trent. Wouldn't be great if I had Trent's mom in here. Nyla Rose. And then we got a nice uh, tag team pyro of Jurassic Express. 
Very, very cool. Look at that. Very, very nice. Let's, uh, let's put that over here. And then main event features of Matt Hardy, Britt Baker, and Billy Gunn. So we got Chuck Taylor, and we got Lance Archer from the magazine. Darby Allen, very nice. Wardlow, and they got a nice a top rope Riho. Very cool. Take that for sure. QT Marshall, Britt Baker, from the magazine, and Miro. Three more packs. Let's see if we can finish strong. Doesn't seem like we're gonna get an autograph in this one, so uh, definitely selected the wrong uh, box here. Let's see, Lucha Brothers, Stu Grayson, we got Sammy Guevara, the magazine, Best Friends, Pyro, look at that, very nice, put that over here, we got Nick Jackson, and it features Jungle Boy, The Butcher and The Blade, Tag Teams, Scorpio Sky, two more packs, let's see, See if we can pull something big. Cash Wheeler. Sammy Guevara of the magazine. Brody Lee tribute, of course. Another Brody Lee tribute. But maybe the bronze parallel. Ricky Starks, Pyro. Very cool. Uh, big Swole, main features, recently released. Adam Hangman Page. There we go. There's a champ. And Brian Cage, the magazine. All right, this is our last pack. Let's see if we can finish strong. We've got Evil Uno. Totally Blanchard. Another Evil Uno. Looks like a bronze. Cole Cabana, canvas. Not too shabby. Anna J, main features. Uh, Penelope Ford, base. Lance Archer and Arn Anderson. So there you go. That is one hobby box of 2021 Upper Deck AEW wrestling let me know what you guys think will you be getting these um yeah just uh very different than the tops uh release uh, particularly for the price um you know i got this for 175 dollars not guaranteed an auto um yeah it's just a it's just very different i know upper deck does different things and i guess they decided to make like the autographs and certain cars more limited uh hard to get and thus I guess should make it more valuable um, so it's just gonna be a big change you know um, in terms of the design they look better in person some of these inserts I you know I, I could do without like the magazine doesn't really do anything to me the world success Wednesday in action is nice in concept but I uh, wish it was a little bit I don't know um, just not quite there but close uh, main event features is decent but uh, yeah, I do like the top rope and I really enjoy the pyro parallels. Um, just really, really cool looking. Yeah, look at the lighting. So getting those, chasing your favorites off from your base, uh, big thumbs up on there. So I guess what I'm trying to say is like, I'm such a big AEW fan. I was really hyped for the release and you only get your like one and first impression. And for me, I'm just kind of a little disappointed, I suppose. Um, you know, we'll see where they do it from here. I'm sure they're going to have a lots of plans. I'm sure they're going to do like a Series 2 version of this. And maybe they'll bring some of their other Upper Deck brands into this. Um, you know, Upper Deck Black Diamond AEW would be pretty awesome. But, uh, you know, if this was like closer to $100, I think I would be fine with it. But given where it's at, I understand it's it's a first release, you know, from brand new company. Um, and Upper Deck first time doing wrestling. So... You know, it is going to go fetch for a lot of money. In fact, I think the best way to do it is to just buy one of these boxes and just keep it in the closet for five or ten years. And it's just going to go up up in value. But if you're trying to, you know, chase autographs or put together a set, I, I, I wouldn't really go with the hobby. Um, I would definitely go online to try to find singles or autos and really wait to uh, for the retail stuff to drop and then... Um, you know spend money there that would be my kind of personal preference in terms of uh 
you know, trying to collect the set. I know there's a lot of set collectors in wrestling, so that's probably the best way, um, in my opinion. But uh, we'll see how it goes. It's going to be very fascinating to watch the market on this, you know, how much people will pay. I've seen some of the autographs go uh, fetch for pretty uh, decent coin. Uh, it will be interesting to see, like, some of the uh, parallels, see how they go, or some of the inserts. Um, but, uh, you know, we, you know, this is what we got. Um, not really much, no uh, patches, no autos. We got the, the Wednesday night action, which is supposed to be very limited. Um, so there you go. Let me know what you guys think of AEW uh, wrestling, trading cards, their first time, their big debut. Do you even watch AEW? I don't know. Uh, yeah, just let me know. There's a lot to say about this product. And I think we'll be continuing to talk about it. And we'll be definitely, I won't be personally opening up more of the hobby boxes. I will, unless I find it at a great price. I'll probably wait till retail and open some of those. And I'll probably check out the EPAC store. I think that's a really cool way to collect. Gives you another option there. So as always, hope you guys enjoy uh, Instagram. Sorry, Pack James for the latest video notification pickups. Until next time, guys, just enjoy the rest of your week. Watch them wrestling. It's been real.